Langley Field, Virginia. The Army's after new speed laurels in this big Martin bomber. Left to right, her crew are Jones and Moran. Brigadier General Frank M. Andrews is the pilot. Flying with a 2,000-pound load, the B-12 bomber will attempt to beat Colonel Lindbergh's mark of 157 miles per hour over a 620-mile course. She's powered by two 750-horsepower supercharged Hornet engines. Now, let's go! Army timers get an accurate record as Brigadier General Andrews opens her up. He's just set a new world seaplane mark for the Army at an average speed of 165 miles an hour for the 620 miles. The air squadrons of the USA are placed under the unified command of Brigadier General Andrews and he's directing new plans for sky power. This Air Force will eventually consist of a thousand planes, organized, trained, and ready for immediate service, and capable of concentration in any threatened area for the defense of the United States and its possessions. Before their new commander, the battalions of the clouds wing in overhead parade. This is Langley Field, Virginia, stationed for the Eastern Wing and commanding headquarters for all three wings of the reorganized Air Force. In these strategic Virginian skies midway along our eastern coast, the myriads of the blue are watched by General Andrews and his staff. And as they wheel in battle formation here at Langley, they are in easy striking distance of New England, Florida, and the Gulf Coast. And on they sweep to the imaginary defense of Uncle Sam's eastern shoreline. Field at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, the Wright Brothers Memorial draws nationwide attention. It's aviation's 31st birthday. At this spot, Orville and Wilbur Wright proved that man could fly in a heavier-than-air machine, and America expresses her gratitude. The shaft was dedicated two years ago in honor of the pioneers who gave mankind a new science. 
Wilbur Wright is gone, his gift to the world a lasting one. But Brother Orville lives to watch their dream grow and grow. Here's an early Wright model that still has the flying urge. And down here in Camden, New Jersey, she's flapping her wings to celebrate that first remarkable flight. We've left this early bird far behind, but the tremendous advance took only 31 years, just a generation. The modern parade pushes forward along the trail blazed by the Wright boys. They were the Robert Fultons of aviation, and their names will live forever as the parade roars on. <laughs> 